music is a wonderful form of meditation. And the sitar has been used for this purpose all over the world. This ancient Indian instrument produces a great meditative state. I'd love to introduce an incredibly skilled, beloved sitar player that is known for his performances around the world. So our music in general, raga music, it has a very calming, soothing aspect to it and is actually, you know, a form of meditation when you, even when you play it and of course when you listen to it. So, you know, it's the meditative effects of our music has been documented and, you know, is recognized all over the world. Well, to begin with, it's the, the choice of notes, the phrasing, and the way it interacts with the rhythm. Uh, sometimes going with the rhythm, and sometimes there's some ebb and flow against the rhythm. And that really affects the mind in subtle ways that uh, you know, we can uh, consciously understand it, but we can also just you know, go into that state and, and appreciate it, you know, it for the moment. Well, we played a, a evening raga because we have ragas for different times of the day. The evening raga is called Rageshri. Uh, Rageshri, and then uh, I first played it solo without the percussion accompaniment, then joined by the tabla in a 16-beat rhythmic cycle called Tintal. So the whole cycle goes for 16 beats, which is actually quite long, and that adds to the whole uh, meditative effect of our music. It's actually, I feel the duration that this music is designed to go, you know, a, a long duration. The, you know, the, um, the shortest pieces we have are almost 20 minutes uh, them, in themselves. So, and as you know, meditation takes at least 20 minutes to, you know, fully uh, take effect. So I think, you know, definitely th this music can be used as a background for meditation if one practices raga music. It, it is a form of meditation as well. <laughs> 